Hi. Today I want to help you decide on what type of activities to do with your child. Always have a strategy and there are several things you need to take into consideration before you decide on the activities you want to do with your child. Number one, the child. Always, it's always child-centered. You know, uh, even in your first meeting, uh, you should ask things like, what type of things do you like to do? Or uh, have you played this game before? How did you like it? Okay, what? And, and then that kind of gives you a perimeter of what type of things or, uh, you can do with the child. Uh, number two, consider the environment. Take advantage of the environment. If uh, you're in a school setting, you know, you may be able to take advantage of the table, um, school books, or um, different things like that, a gym. You know, um, just think about your environment. Uh, beforehand. Number three, the timing. If a child has been in school all day, the last thing they want to do is math or school or work. <laughs> okay, so um, you might want to do some things that are more fun, that, that kind of um, ease the tension, you know. Um, and the last thing you need to consider is what's the purpose of the activity. Now the first step of mentoring or the mentorship process is building rapport and trust. So thinking about activities that um, that helps you reinforce trust and help you get to know the child, but also um, number one uh, is have fun, fun, fun. So I'm going to show you an activity um, that you may want to try. It's called timeline. Now timeline is a great way to tell um, your young person about your day and also give them a chance to learn how to stop reflecting and thinking about the things that went on um, in their day. All right, so this is an example. You, have, you can do this on a blank piece of paper or on a, um, a chalkboard or a dry eraser board. You know, you just um, draw a timeline and draw the hours of the day. And um, it would go something like this. Hey, let me tell you about my day, okay? Um, I created this timeline to kind of explain what happened. Now I woke up about seven o'clock feeling great. Okay, I was on my way to work and uh, I ran into a traffic jam. Actually, it was an accident. Uh, I kind of felt very bad about that. Um, so the traffic cleared up and um, I got to work at nine o'clock. And about 10 o'clock, I was kind of, you know, um, feeling myself again. So uh, um, nothing happened until about 12 o'clock. My boss invited me to to a lunch that was awesome and I felt great about that that was a high point of my day um, so um, then about one o'clock you know I went back to work everything was going great and um, I actually got off early at three o'clock so I can come and meet with you and this is where I am right now so that was sort of what my day went and this is what a timeline activity may look like when the young person does it Okay, for example, I wake up around 7, and I'm not really an early person, so I just put it up just a tiny bit. And as we go into school, it goes down because my first period is like science, and I'm not really a science person. And then as I as it goes on to second period, it goes up a little bit, more, a, a lot more because I love gym class, and all we do is play sports. And then as we cruise through that, it increases more because of lunch period after, after the second period is lunch. And everybody likes lunch. And um, it goes up a little bit more because that's third period English. And that's like one of my favorite classes because it's really cool and the teacher's nice. And then after that one, it just goes off the charts because after third period, I don't have a fourth period. I just get to come home. Thank you. The timeline is very helpful on you getting to know your, your child and also them getting to know you. And um, when you look at just that short time, we understood the classes he liked. We all understood um, what he liked about school. But um, you can also go even deeper and talk about why does he like lunch or why does he like um, gym and, and who does he see in gym, what does he see, what does he feel, you know, and build a conversation around that. Now, we just did a timeline um, on school hours. But you can expand that timeline to, even, to the evening hours to get to know about his home life. Uh, or her home life. You know, so this is a very helpful tool. So please try this and let me know your results.